First off, I just want to say that this event exceeded my expectations and was better than any fight the Paul brothers have been involved in in the past. It was a genius last minute marketing move to have the first two fights of the night be streamed on everyone's respective YouTube channels. It was great to have Fousey and Keemstar along with two more seasoned people in the boxing community calling this fight. I felt like they all kept the energy up and brought some good insight, whether it be more technical comments or just pure entertainment. And I won't lie, I really am here for Fousey's redemption arc. They kept the music performances to a minimum, which I thought was really smart, and I also thought all the artists did extremely well with their time on stage. In general, the best thing about this event is that nothing really felt like it dragged on too long. This is everything celebrity boxing is really supposed to be. Just two guys going in there with very minimal training and punching the hell out of each other. The very first fight on the card got cancelled at the very last minute so these two dudes with wrestling headgear came out and were throwing fist of fury and then FaZe Jarvis whooped that TikTok ass I mean you could see it coming from a mile away that he was gonna win the dude walked in on his Dragon Ball Z shit in fact Michael Lee looked so shook when he was getting hammered in the face that I want to see that Fortnite cheater step into the ring again I mean his performance really was impressive and after that fight that man DDG whooped some ass as well he did so well in fact that I went and checked out his music and it's safe to say that the man really does do it all. I think this Nate Wyatt dude was really just happy to be standing at the end of this because that man DDG really did have some serious hands. I gotta say the most disappointing performance of the night really does have to go to Deji. The YouTubers were on a nice streak of wins and then his Dorito eating ass lost because he obviously didn't train as hard as the other dude. I mean you could see it in his physique and the performance because after only the second round he was definitely gassed and honestly looked like he was ready to stop, even at one time dropping down to one knee. Overall, the man was a major disappointment to YouTubers everywhere, and I really hope we don't see him in the ring again because this was the second time he hasn't taken a fight seriously enough. And my favorite fighter of the night really had to have been this dude, Anison Gibb, who was absolutely robbed of what should have been a unanimous victory. I just love the way he threw those vicious body shots that we really didn't get to see a whole lot of tonight. For the most part, these guys were going for haymakers and overhand rights, but he really did impress me. And like I said, the outcome was total horseshit. And in the grand finale, we had douche versus douche and the bigger douche got absolutely crushed straight up outclassed. He just got punched in the dome over and over until his face was basically minced meat. And it was pretty apparent from the first round that he was scared shitless. You could see it in his eyes that this dude Austin was punching really hard. The eyes, Chico. They never lie. And I couldn't believe that Bryce was actually shocked when they stopped the fight.